Hey guys, what's going on? TVP Bomber here, and today, as promised, is my Destiny Strike Gameplay Breakdown video, the Devil's Lair video, released Monday. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, let's get some likes on this for my first ever Destiny video. Really looking forward to Destiny. The gameplay is actually absolutely sick, and I'm going to be breaking down everything that I see and that I can... Um, point out to you guys so I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and without further ado let's jump into the gameplay So here we can see the Destiny title screen. I really hope that this uh, stays all the way through the alpha and beta builds of the game into the actual game. But in the bottom uh, right hand corner you can see the press X to play for the PlayStation 4 which is the primary console that Destiny is marketing for. This short clip of the spaceships that you can see here was actually released uh, as a teaser before uh, the gameplay video was released on Monday during the weekend. And we can see different types of spaceships, which is indeed confirming that you can customize your own ship to your own personal desires in Destiny, which will be absolutely insane. Well, the Fallen will continue to claw at the walls of our city unless we strike them down. Beneath the ruins of the Cosmodrome, in the shadow of an old colony ship, we've located the House of Devil's Lair and the High Servitor feeding them their strength. We must destroy this machine guard and send their souls screaming back to hell. Alright, so breaking down the HUD here, we can see the motion sensor minimap up in the top left. It is motion sensor format, just like the previous Halo games that we've seen. We also see the lower left having your weapon slots, as well as two special slots, and a bar of some sort. We don't actually know how this bar refills or what it does, but we do know that it controls your Guardian's power, which is completely customizable. You guys can go look those up. I won't go into details on the individual powers, but I know they're amazing. And uh, they spent a lot of time on those powers, and they're just really, really mind-blowing, really, really cool, and good for taking out groups of enemies. There you just saw a sort of sniper rifle, a very Halo-esque sniper rifle. The scope seems the same, the reticle seems the same, and it seems to be a two-shot kill to the body and a one-shot kill to the head uh, for most enemies, which is um, obviously exactly just like the Halo sniper rifle and how it's always been. Now also we see this chain reaction uh, text appearing above the HUD weapons slots. Now, I don't know exactly what th this is. It might be an XP multiplier for killing multiple enemies. It might be a multiplier for your powers. Don't know exactly what it is, but that's just something I noticed. And also, take a look at the minimap. It has red sections now, possibly indicating a hostile environment or possibly indicating the direction of incoming fire. Either way, it's a really cool uh, addition to the minimap and it serves as some sort of function which will be really cool to find out. Now that is something that caught my eye. Both the knifing animation is just like the tactical knife from Call of Duty, at least that's what I thought of it as, which is really cool that you have a new melee ability within a bungee game. And also the throwing knife, as you can see in the lower left, that, uh, that box type of thing that I thought was an ability turns out to be your throwing knife and it turns out to be rechargeable in some fashion which is really really cool that you can have a throwing knife as an ability or possibly other weapons or grenades. I 
Hang tight. Fall and thrive in the dark. We won't. Now this is something extremely cool that I noticed. Not only do you see the ghost able to launch in this particular uh, section, uh, which is we know is your kind of your personal orb kind of thing, a lot like the Guardians from Halo, you know, those little orb kind of things that floated around. You can deploy those. Each of the Guardians has those, and they uh, key into missions uh, more often than not. You see two keys at the vo at the bottom left. That's summoned vehicle and returned to orbit. Now, uh, obviously, those are uh, pretty important in the Destiny universe because returning to orbit, obviously... You launch into missions by coming down uh, from your spaceship, which we saw in the beginning. So returning to orbit must be like a quit option or something of that nature. And square, obviously, summoned vehicle, that could mean anything. That could mean your Shrike, which is your personal kind of like a speeder bike. Uh, it could be your spaceship. Who knows? But it looks really cool. Fallen End Hive. Let's hope we can avoid the crossfire. Here's another pretty important section. You see the critical hit text after shooting the Fallen Drake, which is really important that they're taking kind of a an object from Borderlands in the critical hit area. Obviously, that was a headshot. And then you probably been noticing the bar above your weapon slots has been pulsating. That most likely means your power is ready to use. Okay, so that was a little fast, but you obviously saw that third person zoom out. That was one of the Guardian's powers. Um, I don't know whether the bar was affected or not, but you saw that the gun is now glowing and it has a one-shot ability, which we know was confirmed as one of the Guardian's powers that you can choose. Something else I'd like you to take notice of is that you can't switch to any other weapons. All the other weapons are blurred out, and you only have a select few amount of shots with this pistol that you just supercharged in a way. So that is obviously something pretty interesting, and maybe you can only do it with the pistol. Maybe there's different weapons you can do it with, but it looks like you only have one magazine and can't switch to any other weapons while the weapon is supercharged. Great. The way out of here is sealed. Pretty complex. I'll need time. <sighs> it's like the entire system is wired to it. I'll work faster. What we just saw there is proof that active camo or some sort of other invisibility technique is back in Destiny. Now 
obviously right there, the supercharged weapon did not kill that enemy in one shot. Obviously, the stronger enemies, it may kill in two or three shots, but it's still a very powerful weapon. Now there we got our first look at downing in Destiny. It seems to be a lot like Borderlands where you have a set amount of time where your teammates can revive you until you die and are able to respawn. I don't know what kind of penalties you get for respawning, but I know that the, the, the revive time, excuse me, is actually very, very short in this gameplay. So uh, we'll, we shall, we'll just have to wait to see if that changes, if they make the revive time longer or not. There, I believe we got our first look at a boss or some sort of special enemy. Um, obviously, the Guardian pulled out his heavy weapon and dispatched him very, very quickly. So that's exactly what Bungie said your heavy weapon is for, is for dealing out immense amounts of damage in a short amount of time. Barrier is down. We can move now. The Fallen have a tighter hold on this place than I thought. Just a little bit further. is up ahead, under that colony ship. Just on the other side of all those devils. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was informative. I hope you guys noticed some more stuff than you would have if I wasn't commentating over the video. Um, if I missed some things that you that you noticed, happened to notice in the gameplay, uh, please feel free to let me know in the comment section or shoot me an email or tweet me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter is at the top of my YouTube channel main page. It's at TVP Bomber which is my gamer tag, so obviously that's pretty easy to remember. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe if you're new, and I'll hopefully be doing more Destiny news videos as the need arises. But obviously, I'm looking forward to Destiny. I hope you guys are too, and I'll see you guys in my next video.